Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use slash command builders and some examples. So if you don't know what this is, so let me just quickly show you this command header thing over here. Let me just zoom in. If you don't know what this is, I highly recommend you check out the tutorial on the command header as well as the slash command tutorial. On um, both video links will be in the description. First, we'll just start off with what are slash command builders. So let me just quickly go to Echo.js. So this is like kind of our finished project so as you can see here instead of doing name description and options which is going to be kind of messy and then we can just do this so we can do new slash command builder we can set the name we can set a description we can set a option okay so something like that that's what uh the, that's the gist of command builders it's a debatable beginner friendly and easy way instead of writing an object of properties we can just use the slash command builder to make a slash command with intelligence it's something like message embed but for slash commands without further ado let's just dive right into it all right to get started with this you need to install the package obviously so npm i discord js slash builders once again it's npm i at discord js slash builders so once you install this i'm not going to reinstall it because i already have it so once you install it i'm just going to quickly come to this echo command that we created I pre-created this command. So basically what a echo command, if you don't know what an echo command is, it's gonna repeat what you say if you run the command. So it's basically in the slash command folder. So as you can see here, slash commands, slash info, slash echo. And this is the command over in here. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how to convert this into a using slash command builder. So instead of doing this, we can just uh, delete this because we don't need this. And then we just gonna do dot dot dot, which is the spread operator. We're just going to invoke the slash command builder, command builder, all right? Okay, it's the same thing as the um, message embed. So we're just going to set a name. Obviously, the name of the command is going to be echo. And I'm going to set a description. Oops, not that. Description to echo your message. So this is basically the same thing. All right, so once you do that, make sure to add a comma so you won't get syntax error in here. Okay, if you don't know what this is, you can just ignore this this is just for intelligence. And then, uh, yeah. All right, so if I do slash echo, it's gonna let me echo the message, which is not really echoing. Uh, we're just gonna test a command right now. We are testing a command. So basically the gist of echo commands is we're able to uh, repeat what we say in the command. So we actually need to add an option for the echo command okay to do this it's actually really simple all we need to do is to do add dot set i mean dot add and then we see tons and tons of options you can see we can add user we can add a channel we can add a mentionable we can add a number but in this case we're going to use a string because uh if you don't know what string is you gotta learn the javascript all right it's just a data type okay so for the string it's going to actually give us a function so option Okay, so as you know, uh, if you watch my slash command tutorial, uh, names and descriptions are mandatory, so we need to set them. So option dot set name will be a message, and then um, the next thing we can do is gonna set the description. So okay, so set description, and then we can just say a message that you want to echo. Okay, so once again, this is a string option and then the name of the option is going to be message and the description of this is going to be over in here. So let's just test this out. All right, so as you can see here, there is one optional. So as you can see here, message. So type random message, it will still return hello world because we actually never did anything in here. So now let's just fix that. As you can see, we did this, but it didn't really echo it. All right, so to get a argument. Okay, so let's just say const message to send okay so basically what we want to get the value of this okay so it's pretty simple all we need to do is interaction dot um options dot get string since this is a string uh we're just going to use the get string if it's a user you're going to do get user but in this case it's going to be a string so get string get string and then we're going to pass in a name okay so the name is going to be here so in this case, it's going to be message. And then, yeah. Okay, so we can actually send the message. So we can just do interaction, dot follow up, content will be message to send. Okay, so let's just test this out. If I do echo, and then we can do subscribe. 
and it should reply saying subscribe. Okay, as you can see here, it replies saying subscribe. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to make it not uh, optional, so it must be required because obviously the gist of accurate commands is to actually repeat what you say. So if you don't provide what it's going to repeat, right? So we're going to make this option required, okay, which is pretty simple. All you need to do is in the option section, all right, you're just going to do set required equals to true. Okay, do keep in mind that this defaults to false. If you don't set anything, it's going to be false. But if you want to make it true, I mean, if you want to make it required, you've got to set it true. Okay, so let's just save this and let's just test this out again. All right, so let's just test this out. As you can see here, echo is now a, uh, the message is now a required property. So if I try to do it, it's not going to allow me to say this option is required. Please specify a value. All right. So uh, let me just say like, hello there. It's going to reply with hello there. All right, for the last test, I'm going to make an option to either send messages to a user or send it in a channel if there is no one mentioned. So to do this, we need to add a new option, the add user option. So after this, we can just chain another option. So add user option, okay, because we want to mention a user, okay. And then um, once again, every option requires a name and a description of the option. We're going to do option .set name will be target dot set description will be um message to be sent to or whatever you want to call it so it's just a random description and then we can just leave it so we can just use set required equals to false because why not all right if you don't want to uh, mention a user it's going to send to the channel if you mention a user it's going to send it to the user all right pretty simple so now we have it and then now we're going to implement the logic in here. So we're going to get the user by doing const get user, or we can just do const user equals to interaction, the options dot get user. Okay. Once again, you want to pass in the name. So in this case, the name is target. We're just going to do target. All right. So if there is a user, if there is a user, we're going to do user dot send content message to send. All right, so after we send the message, we want to give a confirmation. So we can just do interaction dot follow up content will be um I sent the message to. We can also use this uh, user tag so we can know who you sent to. All right, so if there is a user, we're going to do this. Else, if there is not a user, nobody will mention. Uh, we're just going to send it in the current channel. All right, pretty simple. So let's just test it out again. All right, if I do echo, as you can see here, there is a message and one optional, the optional being target. So echo, um, subscribe now. Okay, and then we can add a target. So I'm going to add target to myself. Okay, you can say I send a message to recon. And then if I click on myself, there should be the message in here, subscribe now. All right, but if I don't message anyone, I mean, if I don't ping anyone, hi there, subscribe. It's just going to send it into this channel. All right, yeah, that should be it for today's video on slash command builders. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the help channels. And my support so links will be in the description. Other than that, have a nice day. Hopefully, I will get to see you again on my next video. Bye.